Hey, welcome to Eat Your Backyard, my YouTube channel where I tell you about all kinds of cool plants that I'm into. In this episode, I decided to come out next to the beautiful Indian River and uh, tell you about a plant I drive by every day. It's a Chefalera tree. Some people call it the umbrella tree. Uh, you might recognize this from uh, indoor houseplant applications. This is the tiny little Chefalera tree that grows very well indoors and is found all over the world inside office buildings. But I'll tell you what, once it sets up camp, it is a beast. This is a good example of what it's possible. This is right next to a salty river, windblown. It's endured many hurricanes. Probably this one endured at least 15 hurricanes to some extent. And uh, I guarantee it was just a little seed that dropped from a bird or something and set up camp right here. Sorry about all the noise. All right. So here it is, the Chefalera. Now, you, uh, we'll drive behind the cars all the way. What are you doing? Yeah, I'm videotaping a tree. Um, there you go. Yeah, so this tree is extremely easy to grow. It's also, I think, pretty poisonous, so you wouldn't want to eat it. And uh, in the the summertime it will produce these red antler like kind of uh, seed pods that will drop thousands and thousands of seeds. Each one of them will likely germinate if put in the right circumstances. So let's take a look at what this thing does. One thing it does is if I were to take this I could easily snap it off right here or cut it easily cut it and this would make an excellent cutting it would almost guarantee grow you can see those little leaves poking up there yeah it's ready to rock if I were to take this cutting I would go ahead and cut off these branches and I would probably cut it right about here just stick it in the dirt and away it goes or if I wanted to get a little start a little smaller I could easily get one of these you can see it's sending up shoots all over this would easily break off I'm not gonna break it off just because I like it uh, one thing it does is after it gets a little bit bigger, it will actually send out uh, aerial roots down. And if you can get a cutting with the roots, then you're really guaranteed. This is growing in a pile of rocks. Uh, look at this. Okay, so this is what I was talking about. See if I can not get bitten by snakes. Uh, those are the seed pods. And they grow out pretty far from the plant. You probably about every, every one of those branches up towards the top will grow about. 10 or so of these, and each one of these things here is its own little seed pot. You see, this one's kind of old, so I don't know if these seeds are any good. I'd be surprised if I didn't find one growing around here, but each one of those little seeds will likely produce a plant. You know, when they're fresh, that's the best deal. I would be really surprised if there isn't one growing nearby. I really see one. Maybe down farther in the rocks, I don't know. But uh, the Chevalier is a beast. I've had several in my yard, but one thing that I will tell you about them is they get gigantic and they drop these. And I mean by the hundreds. On a windy day, that's why they have the umbrella. That's why they call it an umbrella plant. It's because it gets that, that look to the leaves. It's like an umbrella. But it will drop the leaves and drop the leaves and drop the leaves. So, you know, when I first had some in my yard, people said, oh, that's a dirty tree. I was like, what are you talking about? There's no such thing as a dirty, dirty tree. Well, there is actually such a thing as a dirty tree. When you get about a thousand of these on your lawn, it's kind of dirty. And here's the other thing, sticks. You know, a few of these sticks aren't bad. Look, with just one hand grab, though, look how many I've got. So, you know, they don't exactly break down easily, so they're not really mower material. It just becomes, you know, what it is. If you keep it trimmed small, then it's a pretty pretty cool tree to have in any yard. You know, right here next to the river, it looks pretty cool. And it's back, actually one of the only things that will successfully grow here. If you look down the way, there's a Brazilian pepper tree, there's a sable palm. Only the diehards are really going to make it in this kind of environment because this is getting barraged by, in this case, the north winds this is on the north side of a causeway that goes east-west. So that's it, the Chefalera tree. Beautiful, powerful, not edible, fun to grow, but watch out, it can get pretty, uh, pretty involved in terms of dropping leaves, dropping branches, and uh, just general care. 
but certainly easy to grow. You could take the pod, seed pods off of one of these grown on the side of the road and grow about a hundred plants with little effort. So, thank you for watching Eat Your Backyard. If you like these kinds of videos, like to come along with me on my edible adventures, in this case not so edible, then go ahead and subscribe to Eat Your Backyard if you like this video. Don't forget to like it and thanks for watching.